Welcome back to my series where I'm telling you everything you need to know about road trips outside of Vegas. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the toadstools and how to do them the easy way. We didn't have much time while we were at the toadstools, so I'm just going to give you a recap of the easy hike that there is. So you're going to go in through this like cattle fence guard thing and it's going to take you out into the desert. There's all kinds of like mountains and boulders around you and toadstools all over the place. So keep an eye out for them because they're in the most random places, honestly. So the hike is going to take you in direct sunlight and it's a pretty easy hike. You could see here, it's kind of like a sandy, like deserty vibe to the trail. The trail is pretty decently marked, so you're just gonna go straight out into where the toadstools are. There are a couple different ways you could take. Uh, we stayed on the higher route, but there is a watery route too. Like there's not water there when we were there. We were kind of in the middle of the summer, but I'm sure during regular time of the year, there's like a little river that runs through there. So you'll see it, it's all like sandy and it's a little lighter color. So that's the easier path, you can just follow that. Or you can follow up these rocks and, you know, climb up a little bit. But for the most part, it is pretty like flat. There's just a few places where you're climbing up, but it's not like a huge like rock climb or anything. See how here it's kind of like, it's just like three feet off the ground or so. It's not like super high up. And you can see here where that kind of watery trail comes around. See how it's like a lighter color sand. I'd say it takes you about a good 10 to 15 minutes to start seeing where the main toadstools are and you'll see them in the distance. They're honestly like all over the place. So I don't know how many there are, but there's a whole ton. So depending on how far out you want to hike, there's plenty to see here. We went to this main toadstool, which was again, about 20 minutes out. So this is the main toadstool, but otherwise there's different hikes you could take that go out to the other ones. And those look like a lot harder than this one was. This one was all flat. So that's why we did it. Cause we only had a little bit of time here, but here's an idea of what it looks like. You can go all around it. They do ask you to not climb on top of it though, but you can get all kinds of photos and stuff with it. and. Depending on what time of year you go, you're probably going to be one of the only people out there. So spend as much or as little time here as you want. And just keep in mind, it is in the direct sunlight. So that's something to consider. Make sure you have your water bottles. And that's about it for the toadstools, guys. It's really easy breezy. It's pretty crazy to think that there's all these amazing things just like right off the highway. So make sure you do make these little stops and try to see as much as you can because this stuff is going to blow your mind. And while you're on your road trips, make sure you check out some of these other sites because I'm going to be talking about everything I saw while I was out in this area. So make sure you check out some of these other videos and I'll see you there because there's so much to see here. I'm just giving you little glimpses. I don't want to ruin everything, but I do want you to know just how much there is to do out here. So check them out.